So, what will it be? What have you got for me? It begins. Good luck, Evor. Where is he, the nobles' clerks? The pardon, the present, the altar, the Here, vigilant. God grant me strength. I'll powder your bones. Let's end it quickly. Take you. Ah! Ah! 
escape and no quarter. Two days since we took the salt, and now gone. Bah, merde. I blame Herbrick. He must have been sleeping at his post that night. Now he sleeps in hell. Well deserved. This is...
scattered source on the ground. The thieves must be looking for a weapon. A letter and a map. The thieves left evidence. They stole an Ulfbert sword. If rumors are true, that blade is made of crucible steel. Might be worth looking for. Thank you. 
mine, only mine. It was worth it. Truly it was. For you belong to me. 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 Oh, my friends. I weep for you. You all should have let me have it. That sword you hold, the one you stole from the camp. We stole, these men and I. But there is only one sword, and can be only one owner. Tyr's hand is now mine. My dear friends, my brothers, my kinsmen. They coveted it, but I could not let them have it. No, I had no choice. An Ulfbert sword. Made from crucible steel. I've never seen one up close. It sells for a large amount of coin. There is almost no price that can match the sword. It has both immense power and beauty. Once you wield the sword, you will understand. <laughs> Though that will not happen. If you want it, there is only one way. We must fight! Look at me. Look well. Do I look like these men? Make the wise choice and give me the sword. I am looking. I am seeing. Uh, I... No. I killed my brothers. I must have it. Else it will all be for naught. They're gone. And you deserve no respite for betraying your kin. Leave the blade. Walk away. And never appear before me again. Me, only me. Oh, my friends, I weep for you. You all should have let me have it.
One more to go. for me to sit down.
You know how this works. Fix a problem or two for us. You get a reward. Come back any time, my friend.
got you down! Come on! Victory will be mine! You will suffer!
should be cautious around here. These wares belong to a smuggler. I wonder if there's silver in returning these.
Naya, Raimundera means. find anything? Why did they not send word? They are on their way. I just want to go back to the city. I can't stand another night here. If we see that shadow again tonight, I am riding back in the dark.
Well now. Shall you moon and they and gather and for latches latches? Stretch your wings, Sunan. locked away inside.
May you feast that Odin side warrior. A letter. It was not here when I entered. Not all the hidden ones left Frank here. I will not find them if they do not want to be found. But I will honor their gift. Je suis bon. I should not be seen in this area.
Cast about this land, my friend. Gentle if they spot me. And again this week. I do not see him being late when drink is cheap at the tavern. You seem to be waiting for someone. Everyone is waiting. For resolve, for courage, for love. For heirs to be delivered under the cover of night. I have the supplies you're waiting for. Ah, finally, the medicine. The children have been waiting for days. Day and night I have prayed all I can. But their fevers do not subside. And the wear's over, quickly! Coin first, and throw in a bit more for my trouble. What? what? Outrageous! This... these are mine! I will only pay you the coin owed, not any more! Do you want them or not? Fine. Here, that is more than a fair price. What happened to the lad who used to bring these here? Replace him. Goodbye. not to draw attention here.
Little mother is about to begin. I have to hurry. We are all sinners. Not one of us is pure. We all will answer to God. And so we all must seek deliverance by the grace of God. Little mother is here to aid us. She is almost ready to begin. Make your way to the church. They're gathering somewhere. They might know something about the Queen. Be my eyes soon. Sit where you can. Little mother will soon begin. The dark waters covered me. Then his holy light came and oh, the glory of his brightness. You will recall the miracle of Saint Orinus, how he raised the burned girl back to life. As a child, I too was burned and near to death. At his altar, the saint appeared, touched me, and I was healed. Time could not corrupt the saint's holy body. 
He touched me so that now I might touch you. Loki himself could not tell a better story. God is light. But what have you done in his light? All are turned to their own way and gone astray into darkness. The devil has hold of your thoughts, your hearts, your very bodies. No one is safe, whether you are pauper, king, or queen. Choose this day whom you will serve, for judgment is coming. And with it comes either deliverance or damnation. Let us pray. <clears throat> Gone. This little mother knows something about the queen. I need to find her. Have you seen my husband? He should have been back from the ritual by now, shouldn't he? You are troubled. It's my husband. He went for deliverance and hasn't come back. It's been days. Oh, it's all my fault. Tell me about deliverance. My husband was going to leave me, but he loves me. The devil got into him somehow. We sent him to Aquila for a deliverance ritual. Little Mother said it would rid him of the devil. The rituals happen at Aquila. Yes. Little Mother has a sanctum there. Oh, my poor husband. Do you think he's okay? I think you should prepare for the worst. And pray to your God for the best. <gasps> yes. I must pray. I must pray. I should go to Aquila, where rituals are being done. Three daggers. They may each year have wear them three daggers. Who may this this it? He said that's what shot Lichi. They have a tavern. I should see if anyone there knows where to find little mother.
painful enough dealing with these zealots, but it's even worse since that nun got her fancy prisoner. We are not supposed to talk about it. Do you not fear God?
merda! Não vou nem descer o madeiro! Elles mal vestillées. Comme moi, c'est. Des I must take my leave. So long. On the edge. Just bomb.
Det er lagt i sandfart! Nei, Jeus! Få det! Nei! Hæ, merde! Si av meg just sine mannen! Bør Sante Maria starte en ba! Å, putt! Da med Deus! Eie! Skal det lagt i sandfar? Kåre! Tavern Cave. I'm new here. Can you tell me about Little Mother? Mm. The deliverance rituals are all these drunkards talk about. Isn't that right, Bastion? You lad mouse shot. <laughs> Take a seat, Narsoner. Bastion's buying and he'll tell you all about it. Right, Bastion? That's me, all right. Bastien's a loud mouth. Bastien's a drunk. And let's not forget, Bastien's a drink buyer. Hey, barkeep? Sit down, northerner. I'll buy you a drink, too. You have us at an advantage, northerner. Where do you hail from? I just got in from Milan. Milan? You're not one of Siegfried's, are you? I'm just passing through, friend. Do not go through Aquila! That's where they take the poor fools for deliverance! They might take you too! <laughs> tell me about Little Mother and her deliverance rituals. I can tell you it's a lot of extra work for us! Since she got her special prisoner, it's worse. Shh! Bastia! We can't speak of God's business. A special prisoner? Someone close to the king, they say. A woman, no less. Mon dieu, Bastien! Ah, but we cannot speak of that, lest God hears us. Drink up, my friends! Bastien is buying! Little mothers just won't let us rest. We are working day and night. I'm barely getting any sleep. I overheard you mention Little Mother. What are you doing listening to people's conversation? Damn northerner! Easy, friend. I'm just curious. If you're so interested in Little Mother, you can walk out the back, up the pass, and knock on her door. Let's try this. I have to go. See you soon. Sister, Dios vos guarde.
little mother's house. I should look around. Little mother has the queen. The seal on this note is the same symbol I found in Anglin's room. Get you out of there. No! Leave me alone! I have to pray, so my deliverance will come! Go away! Says here, little mother plans to put the queen through a deliverance ritual. Mentions an underground chamber beneath the crypt in Aquila. I need to find that crypt. Naya. People say little mother is fanatical, but the truth is she helped me turn my life around. Me too, brother. She was the only one who ever told me the hard truth. I could not deny it. Amen. I wouldn't listen to anyone. I listened to her. I'm a better man today because of it.
be wise to cover up. The less attention I draw, the easier it will be to find the Queen. told you that song. I made it up myself. It's about the delivery aunts they do at the creep. I think they must have delivery at this deer too. The creep? <laughs> you mean the crypt? Yeah. I see people go there all the time, but I'm not allowed. Mother says the gods will beat me if I go too close. I will have a talk with those crypt guards. Oh, be careful. Don't talk to little mother. She'll give you a delivery ounce, and you'll end up like the deer. Have a look, Sunan. Yeah. <laughs> 
survey the area soon. Not right.
Rocket wrecked it. <gasps> you are going to die. Mother won't hurt her. It isn't right. me you are one of the new assistants good that is good yes I've been sent to help you've picked a bad time they have the Queen in there it doesn't seem right I I don't think I can do it I will tell me what to do really okay little mother needs her knife dipped in sacrificial blood it is on the table then you must take it to her all right I'll prepare the knife and take it to little mother you stay here. The knife is well made, but the edge is dull. It will not cut easily. I need to dip it in the blood. The 
the knife is covered with the blood, I can use it to get close to Little Mother while keeping the Queen safe. You know the scriptures, Euphrasia. Where do they instruct you to do such things? My instruction comes from God, as you will soon see. That is the Queen, and she's being held by a little mother. Those are her elite guards. Best not to try to take them head on. If I open the cage in the other room, the guards might leave to investigate. Those guards have the key to the cage. Opening it would create a distraction. returns with my knife, your deliverance will begin. You should know, your majesty. I am only God's instrument. Is your knife God's instrument, too? I can tell you the devil's spirit. How they scream at its touch. Is that the devil's fear I see in your eyes now? You mistake faith for fear. You are lost, Euphrasia. We have the queen herself. Who would have thought we could reach her so soon? Where is my assistant? I cannot begin without my knife. Ah, here is my assistant with my knife. We can begin. I am little mother, touched by Saint Orinus, chosen by God. You are just another royal brood mare, mated to a king she doesn't love. In your bitterness, you turn him against God. You see, your majesty, you can hide nothing from a true servant of God. God himself knows I do not try. That is a lie. You speak for the devil now, do you know that? But we will cut him right out of you. Then we will get to the truth, you and God and I. Put your faith in that. Assistant, my knife. She had to die. She was not always like this, and too young for such bitterness. Your methods are uncompromising, but your coming was God's doing. You are a northerner, aren't you? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, and I'm not here because of any god. I'm here because your husband, the king, sent me. Charles sent you for me? There's no time. We have to find a way out before we're discovered. I know a way. Follow me. I did not thank you for rescuing me. 
It was a brave thing to do. It was not brave. here because I have an agreement with Charles to return it. Rats! The plague brought them. The vermin have no shortage of food here. Come, it will have to do for now. The wall is weak. You have been used by God today. Do not doubt it. But I have to go now. There is somewhere I must be. It was not your God who freed you. It was me. And I did it only to return you to your husband. That is where we're going. You think because you did something it was not God? God used a donkey once. He can use anyone. Even you. Nevertheless, I'm taking you to Charles. It is not me Charles wants. I can trust you. I know it. I perceive God working something strange through you. I will show you what Charles seeks. You could be trying to deceive me. Yes, I suppose I could. But I am not. Do you really not see the strangeness in all this? That it must be God. I see only that your God makes it so you can never be wrong. <laughs> I like you, Eva. I can see why God chose you. And why we should be friends. We will go together. I mean to bargain with your husband, the king, but he's a complicated man. You are being diplomatic. Charles was not always as he is now. When he was a boy, he fell into fits of madness. His keepers believed him possessed and put him through a ritual. His conversion afterwards was sincere. 
So he gained a terrible fear of fire. When we met, he was honorable and pious. You sound proud of Charles. You loved him. Do I? Yes, in a way. But we have never been a normal husband and wife in private. Does he not love you? It is not him. I could never be what he needed. But he is a man and found solace elsewhere. Often. The nun little mother was going to kill you. Perhaps. Her deliverance rituals were brutal and cruel. Few survived. Euphrasia belonged to a secret group that believes Francia has fallen into apostasy. She thought me possessed. The Bishop Anglewin was part of this group, I think. You know of Anglewin? Yes. They call themselves Bella Torres Dei. God's warriors. And there are more of them. You've brought me all this way to see a child. Yes. Charles has a son. Little bear. Richardis! You're safe! God protects me. Never doubt that, child. Bernard? This is Eivor, a friend. Go now and wash yourself. You've got more color on your shirt than on the canvas. He paints beautifully for a child, don't you think? He called you by your first name. Yes, it seems odd for a child, I know. But I am not his mother. Nothing else felt right. Bernard is not your son. How could he be? Yet, I love him as if he was. As I said, Charles and I were never that way. But he is a man, and a king. Naturally, he found other places to satisfy his appetites. From that came Bernard. You're hiding the boy from his father. Charles wants Bernard to succeed him to the throne. And Bernard wants nothing else but to please his father. That is why I must keep Bernard from him. He will lead the child down a dark path. One not meant for a good king. My agreement with Charles was only to return with you. The child need not be involved. And I will not let him be. Bernard knows to find a church if he needs help and I am not there. I must leave again for a while. When I return, I want to hear your Latin verbs. I know you're going to see father without me. I'm not stupid, you know. By keeping Bernard from Charles, you hope to prevent him becoming king. You misunderstand me, Eivor. Bernard must assume the throne for the good of Francia. You see what Charles has become. Bernard is young, but will make a good ruler. One that will be more sympathetic to your people, also. If Charles wants the child, he'll not be pleased to see you without him. I hope that is not true. Charles knows the Bella Torres took me. He would be concerned. We have not been on good terms lately. But he sent you to free me. Perhaps he wishes to be reconciled. That bear is wounded. Wait. If it is wounded, it is dangerous. It is all right. Shh. Who would have 
have you done to yourself? There. God is with you. Be more careful now. Off you go. They are noble animals. Let's see. She had given up. She is all right now. Thanks to God. Are all bears so tame in Frankia? All of God's beasts respond to love, Eva. Even more so when they are hurt. In that, they are not so different to people. You have the gift with beasts. But you're speaking of Charles now. You think the same is true even of him? Especially of him. <laughs> we are here. Charles Kemp. I fulfilled our agreement. Here is your wife, the Queen. She is unharmed. Charles. My dear wife, finally you appear before me. You must want for refreshment after your long and complicated journey. You are still angry. It is for nothing, Charles. I have been as faithful to you as I have been to God. I am sorry for taking Bernard, but... Ah, yes, my son. I thought by finding you, I would find him, but I do not see him. Where is Bernard? Safe. <laughs> do you remember the night we met? I've never forgotten it. The sky was clear and awash with thousands of stars. The night of our wedding, it was the same. I took it as a sign from God. <laughs> I knew you and I were meant to be. You were in white, all purity and grace. I thought, tonight, I am not the prince. I am the luckiest man alive. How lucky to take a wife who fell so easily into another's bed. You did not take me as your man, but as your fool. Charles, no. To our marriage. We had a deal. Oh. Do not be concerned about Bernard de Chardis. He is my son. Without your interference, he will find me. And you, Northern Devil, who presumes to sit at the negotiating table with a Frankish king. Here is your deal. You lied to me. I did not lie, Diable. I said God would make it so. And so he has. I'll take care of you. <laughs> Stay here. We have this. Hey, stop there. Firing yet?
always saying what they do not mean to get what they do not say they want. I failed to mention everything about Charles. I'm sorry. The truth is awkward and I did not see the need. He believes you to be unfaithful. There is no end to his accusations. I hoped he had come to himself. Do you think he really meant to kill us? Yes. Now Paris will fall. Charles has made certain of that. Siegfried was right. Don't despise Charles. Like that bear, he may yet recover with God's help and become your ally. I do not share your faith in your god or your husband. But you carry both with a rare honor. Thank you. That is a high compliment. For my part, I don't think God has finished with you yet. We were meant to meet. Now, I must find Bernard. We will go to the Paris slums and aid the sick. Charles will not look for us there. I must go meet Siegfried at the forward camp in Paris. I have a siege to prepare and pride to swallow. God exalts the humble, Eivor of Ravenclan. You will see. Farewell for now. If they see me, this will get messy. been avenged, my friend. This place is heavily guarded.
Watch each other's backs. Need to cloak myself here.
see you, old friend. Feed on to the old father's feast.
be enough, sisters. We must take up arms and be the hand of God's judgment against the heathens. I have gathered a selection of fine swords for you all to choose from. Or even a mace, if you'd prefer. No! Ha! My eyes do not deceive me. It is our enemy. No time for training, sister. Let us put our metal to the ultimate test. Smite this foul evil down to the wretched underbelly of hell! On your weapon aimlessly like children! His name, but now you seek to snub the wake of my very life as well. Worked, she might have bested me.
Let's go hooded. Here.
Give me a hand with this! Pressure hit him! Killer has been slain. Rest well, stranger. Hey, come here.
my blows! Give me a hand over here! You must row in these waters. More sail! I thought be still. Take the mouse down! Sing, my ravens! Sing us a song! Let's hear a story! Set the mouse down! And I will tell you the tale of how I met my wife. I know a crazed man about Let my age. I will tell you this. No one is bored. Here's a tale to tickle you. Friends, they say skulls. I often wonder, who deserves it? When I came to England with the sons of Ragnar, I believed it would be a brief raid. Listen, and I will tell you the story of the first berserker. Have you seen the size of the sturgeons in these waters, any of you? Oh, no, Dwarves, most of them. But these vast, cold waters hide a monster the likes I had Drop never seen. When I was fishing with Trigvi once, I dared to believe we had hooked a giant creature, a monster worthy of song. It must have been hours Rain into the fight. <laughs> the creature would not give. It would not budge. Untiring, immovable, but I would not yield to a fish. I pressed on, and slowly a silhouette emerged from the depths. Thrice as big as our boat. Then a flash of armor, plated silver on the water's surface. A sturgeon, surely. Lower the mark! It thrashed violently, and then it was gone. I fell off the boat. Trigvi, too. Cold was the water. But nothing rivaled the smart of shame, having been thwarted by our dinner. I will take three Paris mansions. <laughs> we know you are crazy, but why three? One for me, one for my horse, and uh, one for my axe. Yeah. You're late to the feast, Crow. I 
and... Yeah, I'm going to try to get a nookie. 